Hello, my name is Ken DeVault. I am a gastroenterologist and actually also the Chair of Internal Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Florida. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about some interesting physiology and interesting interactions between two common diseases. Gastroesophageal reflux disease or acid disease where acid comes up from the stomach into the esophagus and common pulmonary problems like cough, frequency and clearing of throats and, and things like that that can affect things that you might not feel to be related to reflux. Over the years we've learned that a certain number of patients with cough and asthma and other lung conditions have acid reflux. One of the problems is that it's been very difficult to sort out which of the patients with these common disorders have a true interaction between the two disorders. In order to help understand that in a better way we've developed a fairly large research program. This program is a collaboration between Mayo Clinic in Florida and the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom. Our goal with the program is to find out how many patients out there who actually have reflux or heartburn have underlying lung conditions that they really don't know about. So in order to sort that out better we're asking patients and normal volunteers to consider participating in our study. We would like to see patients who have heartburn and indigestion but have never been diagnosed with a lung problem. They cannot be heavy alcohol users and they can't be smokers. If that's you, it would be great for you to consider contacting Mayo Clinic in Florida to see if you would be interested in participating in this study. In addition, we're looking for some normal people, people that don't have a lot of esophageal symptoms who are willing to undergo a series of tests. These tests would be explained to you by our professional study coordinators and should you decide to participate, we will help compensate you for your time in coming to Mayo Clinic. This is a very important study and we believe in the future will help patients better understand the interaction between the esophagus and problems that are coming from their lungs.